reading about black racer neuritis nails. So if you are interested in wanting a snail, this video is totally for you. So black racer neuritis snails. The temperature should always either be at 71.5 or 82.5 Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, black racer neurite snail aquarium. This neurite will do well in most aquariums with a water volume of 5 gallons or up in larger tanks. You could consider going for one neurite per 10 gallons. So, like, um, one or three could go for 10 gallons if you want. Um, but if you're considering breeding, you would totally need a bigger tank for that. Uh, we're gonna look on breeding in a second. Uh, they aren't fussy as to the cork at all, although they probably appreciate some rocky surfaces to forage on. Live plants are also a plus. So, uh, when live plants, when some plants have algae, I mean, if plants are dead, they'll eat it. But if they're live, they won't eat it. Um, water quality. If you'd like to keep black racer and right snails in your aquarium, make sure the tank is fully cycled before introducing the snails. Traces of ammonia and nitrates can quickly grow fatal as do copper based medications and aquarium plant fertilizers so be sure to absolutely avoid those so you do not want you totally want clean water so they are fresh water not salt water um, and I think they will get to the hard soft water stuff my TV's my light right now so um, Sorry, I'm trying to find out where it was. Okay. Nit nitrites uh, should be kept low by means of weekly small water changes. So, if you change the temperature on it, uh, I guess they'll die. But you could also look into it by yourself on uh, the website. But this will probably be easier if you want. Uh, although black racers aren't too fussy in terms of water per perimeters, it's important to remember that they don't always do well in more acidic waters the lower okay I'm just gonna say the lower pH can affect their shell causing it to det deteriorate okay and fail to grow properly so the lower pH can affect them. It can uh, cause
cause of growing. Uh, so keep your pH in mid. Uh, Uh, oh God. These fireworks on 4th of July, so. Uh, calcium supplements can help, but we would still advise against keeping these snails in tanks with a pH under 7.0. They like alkaline alkany if you know what that means but if you know what that says it's fine alkan an alkany environment with relatively hard water for healthy shell production so like i said they need hard water not soft water and I believe soft water is more harsher to your home and to your body. So, because these habitats are usually coastal and affected by the ocean tides, this is one of the many nitrite, nitrite snails that does well in both fresh and brackish water so if you want okay so i'm just gonna tell you this but if you sorry my dog uh if you want a female to breed you'll need brackish water so you'll need some brackish water and some like if you want her if you want them to breed, you could transport them to a brackish water aquarium. And then uh, when they're done breeding with all the babies, you could take the female and the male out and put them back in the fresh water. That seems easier to me. But tank mates. The nice thing about aquarium snails like these is that they are entirely peaceful. This is exactly why they're so popular among dwarf shrimp keepers, as they're among the only tank mate options for the fragile, for the fragile shrimp. Um, you can combine them with any shrimp that doesn't require more acidic or soft water. Like soft water, it could kill you, like it could make you sick. So I'm trying to see if we're close to that. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, um, this being said, black racer nerites are also perfect for other types of peaceful community aquariums. So, if you want to add like beta fish or if you want to add, like, what is it called? Goldfish. You can add goldfish. If you want to add, but they, they have to be uh, fresh water. Because if it's salt water, it would cause your snail to die. Because it's salt. Pacific. Pacific water is fresh water. So, they live in the Pacific Ocean. So, that is freshwater. Meaning, uh, conditioned water. 
Um, I'm just gonna read it again. This being said, Black Racer and the rights are also perfect for other types of peaceful community aquariums. Although their protective shell makes them quite sturdy, it's best to avoid aggressive snail eating or nippy tank tank mates, larger crayfish species, loaches, and the like. Okay, uh, I'll show you this picture of what your snail could look like. Uh, it's not the best, like, you can barely see it, but if you go on, I'm trying to see which one I, which article I found this on. Uh, sorry, I can't seem to.